Well, good morning. Today is an amazing day. Today we're gonna go ride up Glacier Point Road when there are no cars. There's no one there. There's no one at Glacier Point. It's gonna be awesome. But they announced it Tuesday evening. And so you had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, I mean, I just, to, to be able to plan it, um, it, it's just, this is it. This is Friday's the day. And it's open to cars tomorrow. Today's the day. Today's we got a good group of guys going. I'm actually gonna ride from here to uh, the meetup. So it's gonna be a big day for me. I'm doing this because I can't guarantee that if I use the car, that I'll be back in time to pick up my son from school. And I just don't wanna be in that situation where my son's at the bus stop waiting and the wife is pissed. So we're riding from here. Yeah, we're riding from here. Got my blue sail coffee. It's a lavender. What else was it? Lavender something awesomeness. The lavender blueberry. The wife says from the kitchen. Actually just saw a few cyclists headed up. Uh, it's 2,500 feet of climbing, about, a, about an hour, hour and a half to get to uh, the south gate and where we're starting at Wawona. There's more cyclists right there. This is gonna be a fun ride, bro. thing is that this ride's gonna be a hundred miles like almost 10,000 feet of climbing and I'm not eating breakfast I didn't eat breakfast and I won't eat um, until easily three hours into the ride that's crazy so it's crazy to think but I didn't eat breakfast I don't eat breakfast at all I'm fasted this is a hundred mile ride no breakfast zero calories just coffee um until probably i get to the top of glacier man so i'm gonna climb seven thousand feet of climbing i don't know what it is something like that five thousand before i eat it and i have a full video on intermittent fasting coming out but dude it's just a game changer for me and when i partner fasting with like proper nutrition, like spirulina, making sure I've got the iron and the B12 so I'm not mal malnourished. Dude, I feel amazing. So amazing, always so amazing. Dude, I ride fasted all the time. It's, it's insane. It's insane to think on a 100 mile ride, I don't eat breakfast. first venture out like in a, in a spot like this okay and uh take me out of my comfort zone so i'm really excited about you know that's why i ride cool
that first bit. We're about to hit the main attraction, but what did you think about? Uh, it was nice. It was a slow, slow climb, you know, gradual climb. Yeah. So luckily for me, that's that's my sweet spot. Anything above seven or eight, it's, it's going to be a... Uh... Yeah, it's not really steep out here. It's just steady. That's nice. I'll take it because you can enjoy the view without suffering too much. You know? Yeah. How stoked are you to see Glacier Point? I'm incredibly stoked. It's my day. Have you ever been to Glacier Point before? Uh, years ago. So you have something to to compare to it being super crowded and annoying, and then what we're about and to experience. This, yes. Nice. closed road as you can see we're they're three wide what am I at I'm at three hours ride time right now three hours 5,800 feet of climbing yikes feels good though man we got a good group out here the weather's so good yesterday would have been way hot and there's no place to refill the bottles. So, it's good stuff, bro. pineapple juice and a spirulina pod in here let it dissolve Hannah's idea is amazing that pineapple juice is super delicious but then that spirulina pod dude like I'm recovering while on the ride pretty neat look at the snow flannel was a good choice always dude flannel is always a good choice the group is split pretty good. There's a couple guys that are hammering. There's a couple guys enjoying. And then there's a couple guys just hanging out. Doing it. this turn like once you're staring at it for a little while it sort of becomes like your brain adjusts to the scale but when you come around this turn because you've just been in the woods and like trees are big you come the first time you lay eyes on this it's just oh my goodness it's just it, there's no way no words waterfall is popping dude Good stuff. Freaking good stuff.
thinking about? What's, oh, what's this view like? Uh, it looks like a green screen behind us. I can believe it's real. I mean, look at this half dome right here yeah. in the middle. Right. What did you think when you first came around the turn and saw? Oh, the waterfalls were pumping like fire hoses. Looking good time of year. What is how challenging is this route to ride? Ah, uh, it's just perfect challenging. Anybody could do it. Just put your mind to it and keep pedaling. Keep going up. Nice. Yeah, this is the we're in the hut. Can you see? There you go. There's the hut. Bunch of hippies down here. And now we've got the big descent. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to get back, see the family, hang out, eat some food. Cause what am I? I'm at. I made a pretty good size ride, so I got to ride home. I'd like to just chill here for longer, but let's get home. is that but if not really because we're back at Wawona now uh, so the Yosemite part of the ride is about done but I've got another like dude like 20 25 minute climb right now and then a good descent and then like another 15 minute climb and then my driveway is freaking vertical so I'm a little bummed. I, I didn't get a group picture with everyone. I really want, I should have hung out at Glacier and, uh, and got a group pic with everyone. I kind of feel stupid about that, that I didn't. So I think I'm gonna wait here for everyone to come to the Wawona and kind of just regroup, say bye. I can't just leave, because I didn't really get to see many people up at Glacier, we got there a little soon. Well, this is the life, bro. Got a little water fountain over there. Just, dude, this chair is super reclined. Got a Red Bull. Good stuff, man. We're just waiting for the other group guys to come back. There was a lot of people here today. Uh, a lot of guys started at different times, but for the most part, you know, we had a good, like, group of, like, 15. I would probably not ride from home again. <laughs> I think that the start from Wawona is just the ticket. There's, you get everything you want, right? You get great descending, you get great climbing. And, and you're pretty poop when you get back. Like it's a, depending on how hard you ride. I wasn't really able to ride that hard today because the ride's so big. Give me your thoughts on that. Yeah, that was beautiful. Most incredible ride I've ever been on. Well worth every bit of the pain. It was just amazing getting to the top and just looking over. You know, Yosemite was just breathtaking, man. How challenging is the, the route? Well, for me, I've been riding two years, so it was a good climb. You know, yeah, dig deep a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's, it's doable. You know, it wasn't too crazy, but it was definitely a workout, though. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go home. And there's a KOM right here? Oh, I don't know, dude. Kind of feeling it, bro. I don't usually ever ride this this one out of here, so put on some good tunes, zone out, get home.
All righty, we're back. It's it is it's a it's a neat thing to leave your house when it's like the sun is on the opposite side and it's all like a blue tint and it's cool and crisp. And then you come home and everything's like warm tinted, visually and and warm actually. Baby, how are you? How are you, baby? How are you today? Ugh. Oh, the stairs. Oh, the stairs. I'm kind of, I'm kind of acting it up. I'm actually not that sore. Ah! Shit, dude. You scared me. So much protein. The hemp seeds, spirulina, and the ripple all have massive amounts of protein and, and good types of protein. I'm gonna get in the spa. Ugh. Oof. Oh. That's so good. I don't know about you, but when I ride, as soon as I'm done riding, my body temperature just plummets. Sometimes it's not even like a cold ride. Just my, as soon as I'm done, it's like all my heat, it's like, it's like my body is trying to expel heat. If you really wanna eat, whoa, why did I squeak? If you really wanna eat healthy, move into the forest where there's nowhere that you can eat unhealthy. <laughs> Uh, because there's really only one place we can go here in Bass Lake, which is the, the Pines, and it's just like the same thing every time. It's just this one vegan burger or rice with steamed veggies. And it's good sometimes, but it's like, dude, I just don't want that same thing. And since there's no, no other option, I, don't even, I can't even hesitate. It's just like, dude, it's time to cook dinner. And the, and the wife said that winter has been really fussy, and so if she's been fussy and, and the wife is just been manning down the kids like I gotta cook even though I be wrecked I'm trying to just lay on the couch but let's uh broccoli fake chicken in some kind of like salad with rice and avocado potatoes let's do it You really need to make sure that next year, 2019, <clears throat> sometime in April or May, you block that out, you quit your job, you divorce your wife, whatever, make it out here, do the ride, don't divorce your wife. Don't do that, but make it out because it's an amazing, amazing ride. And as always, vegan cyclist. Yeah! Gross! Yeah! <laughs> yeah.